Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Friday night. Or, it's not Friday. It's Thursday. Wow. Whoa, Friday. now. Got I changed that shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, it's going to change. But uh, it is a special episode. We got Malik and Marcos. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? And our special guest tonight is Eric Lozano. What up, Eric? Thanks for joining us. What's up, man? What's good? Back in the Cheers. building, bro. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Thanks, for be- Thanks for returning. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show again. So, uh... Looking all skinny and shit, man. Right. Yep, I've been training my ass off for this one, man. I I want to get in there and... How about you now? I'm walking around at... 205 right now two maybe five, under 205 that's that, that's, two that's five. been that's been my goal to stay under 205 for this camp i usually i hadn't been training like i was training i was working a lot more and yeah. getting in there when i could and now it's it's a different ball game um mm. top 10 trying to break in the top five and you gotta put in that extra work and yes, i've been doing that so it's a huge Word. opportunity for me being in the main event and looking nice. forward to um what's your current ranking um i go up to top 10 i believe i'm ranked number seven nice and my Jeez. opponent yeah, my opponent my opponent's i believe number three so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a good war man yeah he, he brings it comes out strong and you fight the number four guy right I'm he's number three. Oh, he's number three. Oh, three. Yeah. Oh, mm. shit. Okay. Yep, yep. So, yeah. And the other two guys um, in front of him, I believe, are Joe Warren and, and Jomi mm. Escobosa. So, and they're going to be fighting for the title. What? So, I'm hoping to get this one, and hopefully my next fight might be a title fight. So, Sweet. Right, let's go. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna fly out. We're gonna take some pictures. Yeah, man, I would love yeah, to find right. the clear waters. Oh, that would be nice. Let's see what, let's see what Greyhound's come on. Man. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, Greyhound. I'll walk into driving a Greyhound again. Oh, I'll never do it. I did that out from California, from Sacramento to Hon- or to Bangor. That was the worst. That's that two days, right? Like two days. That was three. My trip from Tennessee to Chicago was two days. Ain't never again. I will never do that again. It's only supposed to be eight hours. Uh, no, live a little did you guys. go? Did you drive out or fly out to Utah on your last one? I, I fly out. Oh, okay. yeah. I was Mo- thinking. I was Mo- like, Mo- Mo- didn't yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know why Mohawk be driving. Mo- <laughs> I don't know why Mohawk be driving. They're like telling me I'm gonna drive. I'm like, no, I'm not. You're flying me out. Yeah. Right. Hell no. I'm trying to get there and back. Right. Because that. I mean. I that'll like tire you out. So draining to drive way out there. And but he got Moha goes. Uh, he he brings a family. I think they get a, oh, a yeah. Airbnb um for like a week, week oh, and a half. Oh, so, oh, so, they just so stay he, he, he gets used so to the right. he gets used to the atmosphere, the new um that elevation. I actually had trouble with the elevation. I'm doing that weight cut out in Utah, oh, so I, I miss weight by I believe it was a pound. So mm. and then the doctor the doctor didn't let me go finish cutting the pound because I was gonna go cut it and like I had an hour still to cut it. He's like, No, you're not cutting no more. Oh wow. Dang. I'm like Dang, I didn't know they can do it. <laughs> I weighed in without anything. <laughs> so, they're like, uh, the sheet out. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, straight up. So, so, uh, so, what do you? I mean, what are you doing to prepare for this one? Like, what is your your main goal? I mean, your your vision. My vision for this one is uh, a lot of movement. Um, I'm fighting a southpaw. Like I said, he comes out strong. Um, he's he's fought the best. Um, he just fought Mundell in a, in, a, in a big fight, ended up getting caught or dropped in the, I believe in the second or the third, but he dropped Mundell in the first. They had one, they dropped each other once each. Um, he's a heavy hitter. I need to stay away from his power, move around, like I said. Uh, I, I I believe I have power and I think um, I, could, I could drop him too and I'm hoping not to get dropped or anything like that. We're gonna exchange, man. He's a brawler. Um, I've been doing a lot more boxing. And I've been training with some really top-notch guys. Um, Jamal Hill's fighting um, for UFC 300. I've been working a lot with him. He's he's also a softball, that, so that's an advantage to me. He's longer than the Marine. And um, he's bigger, probably hits harder. Mm-hmm. So... I seen you uh, mm-hmm. uh, flip, flip a couple pictures with him on it. I know you know. Oh yeah, I've been I know going you go up there. pretty well. Yeah, we've been 
we've been training a lot lately together and uh that's cool it, it's it's nice going out there and banging with um one of the best in the world i'm not just going against right. uh, um the right. guys that sure. i have here at the gym yeah, going and working yeah. with one of the best and, and, right, right. and that in itself is is work like there's no there's no breaks in, in each round. Like you could take a break over here. And you're sparring your, your teammates oh, yeah, and shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out there with Jamal and and I mean we're out there. We're banging. We're trying to get each other better. Right. So there's no break time. It's one one punch could drop you because we're, we're we're serious about our our business. So it's just go time. Yeah, it's go time. As you go out there and we go put in work. So that's cool. Straight up, straight up. Yeah, that's a that's some work, man. Like I, I remember. Yeah, well, a nephew, you know that. Oh, yeah, no, nephew. So, me and nephew, we was training together for a minute. Just not for fighting, but just. Just boxing, get yeah. around and. Bro, we, man, no, uh, we, we went and did this workout. Uh, Butch, he was, he was getting us together, man. And we <laughs> did this exercise where we hit the bag for three minutes straight. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that would hurt my hand. Shit. Bro, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a different nipple? workout, bro. It's a I was dead. No, we. Now we had a gloves on. It was just it was straight up. It was just it was this wasn't hurting. It was just the fact that I was gassed. Oh, well, and it was just it's, the it's first a, it's like, a okay, different type of cardio, bro. And, yep, yep. And then we, you know, see, so he said we gotta just keep contact. So, boom, boom, so I'm just and your hands it, started it, dropping and shit. Yeah, started dropping and get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and keep contact. I'm like, damn. About time that first minute, I'm like, I'm gonna get two more minutes of this shit. Oh, <laughs> you know, um, man. man one day I threw up, bro. A minute can seem like three hours. Right. Oh, exactly. that's how you gotta start cardio yeah. before you start get, trying to get in that ring. I remember mm-hmm. that workout. Right. After that workout, I gained a whole. And not that I didn't have respect for fighters in, but after that, I'm like, damn, that was three minutes of my life. But just imagine they do this shit for hours every day, along with running. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Running all the miles. And I'm just like, in, in a, cardio is key. I've been cardio in fights. Yeah. I've been in fights before, and I feel like you know I've been fighting a dude for three hours. It's been every bit of two and a half minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like that. <sighs> so, uh, so we got a question over here, Tracy. When's your next match? When is my fight? Um, April twelfth. Um, I'm gonna be fighting out in Clearwater in the main event against uh Mike. The Marine Richmond, so what's the venue? Um, oh, yeah. we're fighting at the Harley Davidson um event center, I believe. Okay, okay. All right, that Last sounds word. that sounds really oh. cool, actually. Uh, anything like that with a name like that? That's okay. beautiful. They probably put some money into that one. Perfect time, man. pretty much spring break time, too. Now, there, oh, it is in it. All the yeah, it is actually. It's spring break, oh, all the spring time break here, there. actually. They just started, yeah. It's, it's so I was trying to find, all year. I was trying to find one of your videos. Cause I recorded your live from the restaurant from that one. Oh, okay. But for some odd reason, Facebook took it off. I don't even. I can't even find it. They, they don't. Uh, I don't think they serve any violence. Oh, it's about probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're stupid. What they were anything fighting. that you do with hating it, it's not gonna. He was making love with. Was, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it knuckle was knuckle love, knuckle love. But no, we. It was uh, definitely. Uh, it was definitely in the building. Yeah, I before. found this, but it looks like, but I mean, it has this, because that's the one from there, but I'm like, it's not close up, I thought it was a close up actual video, but, um, I mean, it's still, I know it, it still it. shows We got one of those margarita towers. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah you did, that's right. The margarita tower. <laughs> it was packed there, there was a yeah, lot of people watching that one. That was a headache. It was good, though. For me, that to be a heavy drinker. That was a uh, yeah. Right. I, I, we got me together. Got me together that night, but uh, that I don't even lie, bro. That was that was exciting to see y'all, like to to, to know you personally. Yeah, and, and then see you all, you and Mohawk on that stage, bro. After y'all had just left the studio, y'all had I know, done. right? And Not then now y'all, you that. know, it's an actual TV. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like, and then y'all both got the dub on top of that. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like. It was the energy in that uh, over at the restaurant, bro. Was it was crazy? It was crazy. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Rancho, I'm actually gonna have another watch party there at Rancho um, for this fight. For this fight, Ooh. Okay. So we'll be they're gonna be putting a projector up and um, and putting it against the wall. From uh-huh. what he explained to me, he's buying a projector. He wants to 
He wants to continue to do the fights and support support me and get and get the. He, 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 yeah, yeah. He said it was it was um pretty packed there he in the was, far it side. Was pretty packed there, so yeah. So yeah, it was um, hopefully we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my dad was getting upset. They were, yeah, they were I'm sure they were. Parking lot for, for, <laughs> no, it was cool. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. I remember because where I was sitting, you know, we had the TV here. Yeah, he wants to put the wall at the, yeah. the far back. Yeah. Oh, that big wall right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah. it the the whole um, yeah, well, the whole yeah, screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay, so that bigger yeah. side wall. Okay, that's cool. That'll be. Yeah. And this won't be on a Friday, so. It's, this is a Saturday. It's a Friday, oh. April twelfth, and then um UFC three hundred is um Saturday. Ooh. So that's we you have. That one too. Huh? He's doing UFC or? Um, I'm doing um the main event for Bare Knuckles on the 12th, and then Jamal Hill is fighting on against Alec Pirea on Saturday. On Saturday. Well, it's Rancho doing the UFC. Oh, I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, probably not. Oh. Okay. You gotta get that to the freeway though. How you doing, Angel? What's up? What's up, Angela? Yeah, man. Uh, so we was talking to you before the show, and like, it's like you know, you always got this kind of chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got that fire in you, but... What up, Angela? It's like, you... I was just thinking about the words you just used, girl. He was like, yeah, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, these, I know you said you took your training basically to another level right now. Yep. You know um, I've been um doing at least two a day, sometimes three days. Um, Yeah, I want, I want to go in there and... um. This is a huge opportunity for me, and um, I'm, I want to take advantage of it and go make a statement and, and let everybody know that this is where I belong. I should have been here a while back. Um, certain things that happened in life that set people back, and but I'm here. I'm still here fighting. I, I didn't think I'd be fighting this long, but it's fun to me, and, I, and I, I've taken fights when maybe I shouldn't have taken fights. Sometimes I'll... I'll come out successful, and sometimes I don't. But e right. either then, um, I don't go in there and get my ass kicked for, oh, man, he shouldn't be fighting anymore or right. shit like that. But I feel great. Um, I'm a little older. Uh, this is, like, one of my last runs. I, w I want to uh, I want to show everybody that I belong where, where I'm at. So, mm -hmm. And this is a huge fight. Um, the Marine has a huge name. He's been a face of um, BKFC for, for years. And he took some time off, and he's coming back there. And I hope he doesn't think I'm going to be a stepping stone for him because that's not what I'm looking for. I mean, that's not what I'm I'm going out there for. I'm going out there to go make a statement. Amen. Come on. So, yeah, exactly. Get that win. And make a so what, what, what are your special trainings like what do you do yeah. like each day um, every day each day at a certain time what is it that you do that will get you prepped up for this fight um in the mornings i'm doing more uh agility cardio work um to where i'm going to do more um certain things for 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 this fight because i'm he's a southpaw mm -hmm. so i'm preparing for for that southpaw fighter where i'm not fighting an orthodox guy like I usually have my teammates are, are orthodox or right-handed mm -hmm. okay. or um so even then like yesterday i was going um i went to go work with with the guys here some pro boxers and um i'm still working what i'm gonna work in in the ring even though they're orthodox so i was getting caught mm -hmm. a little bit going to their power yeah which is i'm okay with because i yeah. that that's telling me hey all right you've been you you you're getting used to what you're you're doing what you're supposed to do, yeah. and um, I'm like, all right, he got me, but hey, I, that's because I I put myself in that position. Yep. And that's where yeah. I want to be. I want to stay away that's from. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. you know, so. next and the next steps of that. So yeah, I feel like I don't feel like I'm gonna go in there and get tired. Um, like I I feel ready. I feel ready now. Like I want to. Yeah, you want to get there. I want to get in there right tomorrow now. or tonight. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, right. Yeah. Like, this, this this extra. Extra couple of weeks is just gonna be extra cardio, getting on point. I'm um, going and, and working with my my guy Chris Ponce. Um, he's down in the valley, um, from McAllen area. He uh, he's gonna be in my corner. Um, my buddy Kim, Kim hooked me up with him, and I went to go work with him one day, and we clicked. Um, the vibe was it's different it's from my area where I'm from in the valley. Mm -hmm. He uses these keywords. Um. Uh, 
I'm like, oh, I got you or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, just, we just click, bro. Everything's yeah. flowing. Like first time working with him, and we're able to hit pads and and he's just calling shit. And I'm just flowing with him. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. boom. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. oh. I haven't even worked with you. I feel like I've been working with you. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's that yeah, connection, yeah, and, yeah. and and I'm gonna be down there and and work with him for a solid week, and then he's gonna fly out on um following week to go corner me, and yeah, I think cool. it's gonna it's gonna put me where I need to be, and it's gonna be a fun one, bro. I, I'm excited about this fight. I think um, we're all excited for this fight. I know, so yeah, bro, what always, bro? Yeah. What's been uh kind of your point of emphasis, man? As far as what you feel like, you know, just something I really want to improve on. Or, um, um, for, for me, it's more like my last couple of fights, um, I hadn't take them, taken them as serious as I'm taking now. I'm just like, eh, I'm going to go fight. Fuck it. Like, I'm going to out-train. Uh, out-train, but now it's not just training. It's training to the next level mm-hmm. where I'm going and training with Jamal Hill. So I'm going and training with the best guys in my area. Even when I go, go down to Texas, where I'm originally from, these guys go and get me um, top dogs to, to fight badass boxers to go train with. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to spar? Yeah, I'm down to spar. They'll, they'll bring in guys that are really good. Boxers um, went up a, with a guy in Mercedes. I believe his name is Justin. Um, really good boxer. Um, real technical. And that that's those are guys I need to work with. Mm-hmm. Make me better. Yeah. Push me to my limit. Like So, but down there where I'm from, it's more like, Everybody wants to brawl and stuff, but I also need that too. Yeah. And um, like I said, um, when I'm down there, these guys, they, they're receiving with open arms, like, hey, your family, come on. Yeah, like, and, exactly. So and they look out for me. So Not only are you trained physically, you're trained mentally. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's a lot of mental, mental game. Like when you go into the ring or the cage, for that matter, like I, I have, um, I think, 36 professional MMA fights, um, fight eight guys in the UFC. And now I fought four inside the the mm. BKFC um, squared circle ring. Nice. Um, so I have four. It's it's a it's a chess game, and in, in yeah. there it's who's oh, gonna yeah. make the first mistake. Exactly. Especially in bare knuckles, one punch can put you out. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, yeah. And you're you're going out there um, barehanded, or say you 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 hit you hit wrong, break a ha- a finger, something breaks, or you know something's wrong. You, you gotta you gotta be able to adjust mm-hmm. that adversity that happens in the fight. You gotta be able to adjust to that. Um, some people will fold, some people won't. I'm not one of those guys that's gonna fold. I'll use my other hand. Yeah, I'll use it to block or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I have not got power with both hands, so mm-hmm. so if I, I hurt my right. Well, I need to set up my left. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Being able to recover and help him with pain, man. Shout out to the Pure West Compassion Club. Oh, I was going to do that. this opportunity. Well, before so thank you all for well, coming on, man. Before you do that, because we got, I wanted to, don't forget, we got to announce our new stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. All right, continue. You're <laughs> wet. Oh, You're okay. wet with, uh, is that with Chris Bummer? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. He's a friend of mine too. I've known for years. So absolutely, yeah. He topped his game, man. One of the one of the shakers and movers of this medical movement over here, man. So yep. shout out to Pure West Compassion Club. Oh, let me put that up. Um, if you need anything, man, any medical needs, um, they got what you need, man. Um, also shout out. <laughs> I don't know what happened because it, it switches by itself for some odd reason. Pure West Compassion Club, baby. Okay, we got Pure West Compassion Club, 9730 Adam Street, right here in Howard. And then we got our newest sponsor tonight, Zamudio Ramos Cleaning Services, LLC. Zamudio Ramos. I know. I'm white. Zamudio Ramos Cleaning Services. Part white. Um, for all your commercial residential needs, Zamudio. Zamudio, excuse me, Zamudio Ramos Cleaning Services, professional cleaners to take care of all your cleaning needs. Yes. Zamudio Ramos. We'll get a hold of her, uh, of her Angela her. Zamudio. I'll tell you what, man, that, that girl can clean, bro. Yeah, she yeah, always hard from dude. morning to night. Even there was times I, I you go on Facebook, man, two o'clock in the morning, got girl clean. I think, I, think right. I might be getting in touch with her. She does some really deep cleaning. And she yeah. don't mind getting her hands dirty, I'll tell you what. What up, Ryder? What up, what up? 
carried, visited. And just like the window cleaners, everything was done. We couldn't clean up this place, you know what I mean? <laughs> man, clean up, man. Like, clean up that right room. now, we need it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, my, uncle, my, my uncle's heavy. I'm not trying to clean I'm trying to make a mess in there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's good. So I have a question real quick. Do you ever get nervous before fights? Um, maybe in my amateur days. Now I got forty professional fights, bro. Like people ask me, in my, are you nervous about your fight? Like, no, bro. I don't. I don't get nervous. I, like, I'll go get my, I'll go get checked by the med, medical staff, and they'll be like, you know, you're fighting, bro. Your your blood pressure is the same. It's regular. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like you even know that you're fighting. I'm like, no, nah, I, I, I don't. I don't get hyped up till it's time to get hyped up. Um, right. I've been here, done that. Yeah, I, I like to fight. I've been fighting since I was younger. I mean, it's almost like that when you're, you're, you're in a, <laughs> I, 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 was not, I never went looking for it, but <laughs> the fight's gonna come looking for me. I mean, they're gonna right. find it. I'm not gonna run. So. Probably down exactly. in the valley, it's different. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's exactly. different. It's a <laughs> different <laughs> ball game, bro. Potential balls down there, bro. You yeah. got nothing. That's how when I when I when I lived in Cali for a minute, my cousin when I moved out there, he said, "Look, just look, cuz I'm telling you right now, it's a different you, ball game. You're bro. gonna have to throw them hands on there." I'm like, why? You don't say why I gotta fight. I'm not looking for so, no trouble. That's exactly what They're going to touch your balls. And if you're a punk, you don't get punked the rest of your time out here. I'm oh, like, yeah. okay. So Brandon Reiner said he's gonna be in the and they're in Clearwater at the fight. Sweet. For the fight. Oh, straight up, Brandon? Okay. That's cool. All right, B. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I'm um, going with JJ um my JJ Davis. Yeah, you going with JJ? Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Badass. I'm gonna see you out there, bro. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I, think that, I think they're out there working on a job, and um, Jay, JJ's my old roommate. He said he's going to be there for the fights. Nice. Hopefully they got tickets because they're, 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 they're kind of getting close. How far is that from, uh, from like, Tampa? Or it's, it's, right, it's, right, it's right there by Tampa. I think there's um, some, some, yeah, some flights that are not that expensive right now going yeah, from, and, 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 and thinking. from frontier from grand rapids to tampa i think they fly out there like five days out of the week so. yes they do mm -hmm. bro okay. my uh my cousin lives in brandon florida which is right basically tampa. right there yeah like, how in zealand type deal right you know right that's weird because that's brandon that's yep, that's <laughs> there's two brandon there's there. brandon robinson whatever yeah brandon. that's my last name I, I think like 400 bucks we can all of us can go out there and Watch the fight. So now I'm praying you'll bring him down. I would, go yeah, I would, that, that, I would go. <laughs> that would be okay. really cool to go down there. Yeah, yeah. Holland, if you guys are listening, man. Shuffle yeah, up the fight. Out. Out. Be to go down there. Mm -hmm. Come down there and be able oh, to yeah. fight, man. That'd be great. Maybe we got to do some homework here, man. That's only a well, try to do that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 that's like two weeks away. Yeah, man. we're two weeks away now. So oh, damn, is it? Oh, that's right. It's already yeah, bro, April. It's that's April. April. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> that's come come by. Two more naps in this April. <laughs> two more naps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, for real. That's cool. Yeah, man. Like, do you have a? Uh, I don't know if I asked you this last night, but you got like a a pre fight. I don't want to say ritual, but. Like routine, like where you, you know, say you tell your, well, what you gonna warm it up and do, you know, get your hair up. You say, okay, I need five minutes by myself. Go, go sit mm -hmm. in this down in the corner, start flowing. Nah, <laughs> my coach, my coach would be like, um, when you want to start, work, I, I like to just mm -hmm. sleep and rest like the day. I, I like, I'm like a, I don't, I don't know, you guys ever been to rooster fights or, where they have I the rooster, it. they have the rooster and, and and a thing where it's all dark and he's in there. Black, don't know what's yeah, going on. yeah, they don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden, boom, it's they just, game time. They, they came out to fight. So yeah, they, they fought, fought, I, fought. I like to sleep and I take a pillow from the hotel and I'm just there relaxing. Everybody else is moving around, all nervous and shit. <laughs> and That's I'm just put on my headphones and relax. And I, and I'll, I'll meditate a little bit, but okay. for the most part, I'm sleeping, bro. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll get up and get ready. Hey, coach, all right. How many fights out? There's two fights out. That's when I start I started warming up. I'll get taped up. I think you got to get taped up like three, three or four fights before. I'll get taped up, and then that's when I'll start feeling it. I'll start waking up a little bit. But for the most part, I'm gonna be the main event. So it's gonna take forever. For I, 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 I how many fights are in? I think there's like. 
I think there's like 12 fights. Oh, so, oh wow. Wait, oh, wow. Yeah, I just so be there. So you have to be the hotel right away. Right. Um, or you no, I have to right be there away. for meetings. And, oh, and there's oh, times okay. that everybody has to be there. Everybody has their own room. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So you'll have your own. So like, what's, is it pay-per-view? Um, this one's not going to be pay-per-view. It's oh. going to be on the BKFC app. So oh, okay, cool. All right. The last yeah. one was pay-per-view. We had that huge um card with... Mike Perry and yeah, um, what was it? Eddie Alvarez yeah. fighting. Yep, in the yeah, main event. Yep. And is a uh, whole world there on the card? Uh, a cut there? Uh, I don't. I, you know, I don't think he's on this card. Yeah, he's on that card. But he'll be there as a you cut know man. He's gonna be there. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> he, he works as a cut man besides fighting. So that's crazy. Yeah, that's cut cool. man and fighter. That's yeah, crazy. I, I he fought one time and. And then he came and taped me up <laughs> right after his fight. Yeah, you know, he, he was still, he was all out of shirt. He was like, yeah, somebody, somebody, <laughs> Carrie says yeah, it's going to be on TV. Fubo TV. Fubo, Fubo TV. Fubo. Oh, that's my manager, Carrie. Oh, hey, my hey, guy. Hey, What's up, Carrie? Okay. It's uh, Carlos. Carlos and Carrie. Carrie's his wife. Okay. Um, Chris Lozano made fun of my guns. Thanks, uh-huh. Chris. <laughs> What's up, bro? Right. You little squirt gun. Yeah. Squirt guns. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Yeah, I know I've definitely heard of Allegiant. Allegiant, yeah, that's another one. I think I flew Allegiant. Everybody got 38 bucks, come on. Man, the ticket thirty eight dollars. Who's going? Is it really thirty eight bucks? Yeah, oh damn! Man, nah, I don't think I've seen one for thirty eight. Frontier was eighty three bucks. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's I, I've seen them um, like for bucks. like eighty, sixty to eighty bucks one way. So that, that's so good. Yeah, that is that is actually pretty decent. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. you're paying what one hundred and thirty bucks for? Yeah, it it, it takes one hundred and twenty bucks to fill up my tank and my <laughs> truck. So oh, oh yeah. Lord, you gotta refill in Indiana. So Indiana. Oh, she said it would also probably be free on YouTube. Oh really? When they, I usually watch them when they're when they're not pay per view, or when they weren't pay per view. So you never know. What's up, babe? <laughs> She's the one posting. That's my girlfriend. Uh, I got you. Oh, it's it's your... Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Giovanna. Okay. What's up? So, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I talk because uh, I wanted to ask you a question about your last fight. Was when you when you were in there. And it basically, like, I mean, it, it, to me, it was like he was getting to you, but then I thought, no, he'll, he'll come out of this one. Because I saw him get a couple good hits off of you, but... Yeah, I was, that, was, I was like, fighting a hometown guy out in Utah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Mike what, Jones comes out yeah. to the Mike Jones song. Everybody's all, oh, 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 oh Mike yeah. Jones, Mike yeah. Jones. <laughs> um, no, and, mm-hmm. and um, no, but he, he, I knew he was going to come out firing and... Um, mm-hmm. He was long, he had a good reach on me, and he came out explosive, but like I I, uh, I had said in my uh, interview with BKFC, like Mike Jones, is it was going to be his debut, and Bare Knuckles, it's a different game mm-hmm. than doing MMA. Like, yeah. I get more tired in, in Bare Knuckles mm-hmm. than I do in a five-minute round in MMA, and the reason for that is because it's a sprint. Come on now. When you're, mm-hmm. you're, you're standing, I, I think, 30... I mean, three feet from each other, you're towing the line against each other. So you ready, you ready, and I'm right here where Malik's at. We're about to throw down. You're not at the cage, or you're not at the end of the cage, and you or you you again, you go feel each other each other out over here. It's you're right here, right in front of me. You ready, you ready? Let's go. And we have our hands up already. You don't have right. one punch can can knock you out and. And in this sport, you want to be the aggressor. You don't want to be a, the counter puncher. Like I'm a counter puncher in MMA, where I'm waiting to to see like out like mm-hmm. I've, 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 up. yep. And um, I've been more aggressive. I've trying. I've been trying to put myself to, to where I, I am. I have to be more aggressive because I don't want to take a shot. Yeah. Mm. But I'll take some shots to give them. Um, I feel like I hit harder. Um, the guy I'm fighting against is a heavy hitter too. So. Mm. I think we we fight a lot of like, and mm-hmm. I think we're gonna we're gonna bang. I think it's gonna mm-hmm. be a probably fight of the night, and one of us is going to sleep. 
<laughs> for at least, well, at least you know, it's a 10-second well, like count. <laughs> is, it, is it like boxing text 10-second count, or if you don't knock them out? Um, yeah, no, it's boxing. Okay. You you get dropped. If you get dropped, you got time to get up and okay. gather yourself. You you got to listen to your ref, step forward, move to the side, whatever you asked. I've I've only um I, I've never gotten dropped and got back up. I've I've only gotten dropped and. And I was I got KO'd by Lorenzo Hunt. I've never gotten dropped in a mm. in a round where I have to get up and yeah. gather myself. No, I, <laughs> the way you I, no. Like I've dropped other people and they've gotten up. I've never mm. gotten dropped other than if you drop me, it's probably gonna be a, a KO. You're not mm. gonna you're not gonna just drop me from a chingasso like that. Wakes me up, and makes me get excited. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fight now. Yeah, <laughs> let's go time, I, baby. Let's go. That's how I got. I thought you were because when he got because I said this. Same thing at when we were there. I said, like, "Oh man, they got he got him good. He got him good." I'm like, "But he'll pull out of it." And I was like, "That woke you up," because then I saw you had. It seemed like you had more energy after that. Yeah, sometimes like, oh, it takes him, me. It takes me a hit. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I work with Coach AC, um, I actually worked with him today. Um, he he likes to get me going early, mm -hmm. and I'm like, ah, I I'm, it depends how my weight cut goes and all that stuff. But since I'm feeling good and stuff. I'm probably, I know I have the cardio for this, mm -hmm. for this fight. Mm. Um, I'm not going to be conservative. I want to get up, um, walk around and, and get moving um, earlier. Right. Um, I probably won't wait till the last minute like I usually do. I'm like, all right, and be so motion about stuff like right. I typically am. Um, I think I'm going to be fine. Um, like I said, I feel great. I feel I'm fight ready right now. Yeah. I've been putting in the work for it and these next couple of weeks are just gonna get me more on point and i'm looking forward to it yeah hey. so that's oh uh we got a couple of people matt says what's up eric what's up matt how you doing brother and then we got what is i can't read this oh, I, you get a you bike from it? thursday and come back saturday for 240. Oh, brandon bad. Ryder says gr to tampa okay yeah, that's what i just looked Dang, up that's... it was 131 per person that's not bad. Roy Valdez is on. What's up, my brother? Roy Valdez. Oh, you, guys can, you guys can, or is Brandon and them flying back, or are they driving? They're flying. I don't know. That's a good question. Because I think I they're flying. But if they're riding, if they working down there, they probably. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They probably have to drive down there with all their equipment and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Matt says, uh, definitely been putting the work in. Your, your Facebook stories are cool to be working out. So oh, yeah, I've seen a bunch of them, too. So. He said he left on the fight. He's doing good. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. I was about to come spar you, man, but I had to watch my son. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I got a couple pairs of gloves outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, let's and, and your son's yeah. here. And your son's here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See what I have for right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He needs to get to bed. That's, That's, what, I always, thirsty, bro. That's what I always say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hurt we got some yak in there. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know what? No. That's gonna be, that's yeah, a little moonshine left. Yeah, is there? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's oh. some left. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I know. Um, this, this, this. Uh, this seems like I know that one. We got to do that in like the first what, fifty-two seconds. Again, oh yeah, fifty-four seconds. Fifty-four seconds. 54, yeah. I know that was a pretty big fight. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, he was really number two at that fight. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had just lost a belt to Mundell, and yeah. um, I went and fought him in his hometown. I think he lived uh, like two miles away from the from the venue oh, we were oh. fighting at. So I was a huge underdog, and um, his cousin and my was there. Uh, so actually uh, me and Ruben were down there and we were um uh, I went to go went to go eat lunch the the day before and his neighbor was there eating with us and mm -hmm. I was like, Oh I I'm who are you fighting? I'm like I'm fighting Francesco Ricky. Oh he's actually my neighbor. Uh -huh. oh, that's crazy. What yeah. Are the odds? That's so crazy. yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. crazy. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> So uh, I was going to fight, so it's like you said, I know that was a big one, but yeah. this one right here. Yeah, this, this one's a different different level fight. Um, Is this your biggest fight, fight, you think, you consider? Oh, yeah. Like um, B B B yep, fighting the main event and uh, BKFC card. Right. I'm hoping I, I win this one and I'm able to fight another main event. Or and keep on going from there. 
Yep, I want to okay. be on one of those. You guys, you guys more promotional things like that. Some more what? Some promotional. Yeah, things. there's actually gonna. They're gonna make a new poster for the watch party. Cause there's gonna be one at Rancho, and um, and then there's one in my from my area down there in um, Texas at 76 okay. Bar and Grill, um, nice. where my daughters work. Um, my daughter's uncle are the is the owner there, so one of the owners. So they're they're throwing a watch party for me down there, Ooh, there where I'm from. So that one will be hype for sure. Oh, for sure. They they had a watch party for the last one that got pretty good. So straight up. That's cool. I mean, I mean, you're like uh, what Carrie just said. You are, you are, a, a, you're a good fighter. I like, I like your style. I like. Eric goes on a beast. Yeah, it's an honor to have him on the team. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Angela says good luck on your fight. Thanks, Angela. Thanks, Carlos. Um, I appreciate your hard work in getting me um this main event, and I'm looking forward to um winning. T- Winning and getting that title shot. I'm telling you, we're making that that ship. I want to get to that ship. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. You'll get it. So you'll get it after after you win this fight. Then you get to the ship. Um, it depends how things um flow with um Jomi and Warren and oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. um if I have to go through somebody else, so, so be it. So be you, it. Yeah. Um, like I'm gonna be. Happy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be in, in the talks. So yeah, sure. so I this is just um one of those fights that's gonna put you up there in the top five and 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 yeah having a number you know the last fight and then being a number two and then being a number three there I mean yeah the, yeah right. there's so yeah. To be, gotta be in the talk so okay. if I have like I said if I have to go through anybody else it, it is what it is and we'll yeah, go yeah. we'll go that route yeah. But the ultimate goal is to get to the ship, and and I wind up wanting to retiring as a the BKFC champ. There so. you go. That's good. You know what? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so has there ever been a BKFC in in Michigan? Like a, um, they they haven't had an event yet, but Ooh. I know there was talks. Um, the owner Dave Feldman um had had some talks about Detroit. Um, mm-hmm. he made a comment. Uh, I don't know if it was on Twitter, Facebook, or IG that something's popping in Detroit soon. So right. I'm that'll hoping be, that'll be the spot. Yep, mm-hmm. man. That'll I'm pretty sure me and Mohawk will be on that card. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Mohawk. It would, it wouldn't even make sense not to. Have yeah, yep, yep. Oh That's my true. god. So, yeah. and that there's another guy. Fun. Um, I actually fought Jay Jackson from the Detroit area, mm-hmm. and um, he's. Actually fighting on this card with me. Oh, straight oh. up. Yeah, he's right. fighting. He's fighting. Um, I'm not sure. I know it's another big name, but he he's on the card, and I'm gonna see him out there. Ooh, um, a couple of weeks. I I actually hit him up to see if he was um training out in Michigan, but he's in Florida right now training. Hmm. Um, okay. and we're gonna be on the same card, and and he he's another BKFC fighter from Michigan. I fought him in the MMA um scene. And it was a good fight. I ended up winning a split decision, but mm. I mean, he get down, though, he oh got... yeah, he gets down and bangs. He's he fought um, Joe Warren, the guy fighting for a title. I mean, he's fought top top yeah. notch guys too. So oh, nice. I got a lot of respect for Jay, and yeah. um, I know a lot of people wanted to see us fight yeah. um, soon, but it is what we already fought. I mean, right? No, yeah. If it happens, it happens. Um, we already said we both agreed we're we're always down for for a fight and a scrap. So, but like I said, we're here in Michigan. We help each other out. Um, yeah. Lately, I've been seeing a lot more of that. Um, with Mohawk, myself, yeah. uh, Jamal Hill, we're all here to help each other out, make each other better. Right. Um, Good. We've been working together. We were out there working with um, Jamal, um, getting him ready for his fight against Alex, and and vice versa. He's helping me get ready for. For the marine and mm. iron sharpens iron like my girl says um mm-hmm. and it's only gonna make us better to work with the best so yeah for sure here's a here's a question since you're a fighter what do you think of the mike tyson fight uh, <laughs> <laughs> i've been wanting to get another um, person's uh i uh you know, i I, that, yeah. I don't like the paw guys um yeah. The Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Yeah. To me, I think um, they're YouTubers or. Yeah. But 
but I guess they can fight. I mean, they fought some 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 solid names out there, and sure. I got to respect that in that yeah. aspect. Um, I know they fought when they do fight a boxer guy that's oriented just in boxing. Exactly. They've had trouble. Like Mike Tyson, as old as he is now, can still fight. Oh, yeah, and he's yeah. still a boxer, yeah. and he's got he's still sure. got that knockout power. Well, have you and um i i see it i see tyson knocking him out oh i do too and do retiring it. him and said okay this shit's not for me <laughs> exactly, <you know? laughs> exactly. yeah you couldn't so. say what i feel man about about um the, the paul guys man like i guess i gotta give them props man, because they they i mean they're real fighters they i mean you said they have the youtube sensation stuff but i mean they train you know what i'm saying like they will they will be the average motherfucker guys I feel, right. you know what I'm saying? Right, average right. Joe, they could just step up against them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I feel like I, myself, personally, I don't give a fuck if Mike Tyson in a wheelchair. I'm not running up on this dude. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> There's no way. I don't care if Mike Tyson paralyzed. I feel like <laughs> he can beat me. He, he can knock me out in Braille. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, a blind yeah. knockout. Damn. Tyson. That's funny. You know what I mean? So, um, I've been watching Tyson train to kind of keep up with him, man. And like, he looks good, bro. Yeah, I think Tyson's gonna. Yeah, I mean, he's the world. Yeah. Tyson's taking this shit serious, but I think. Yeah, I don't Tyson, think he wants to go in there and lose to to. He's not gonna do that. He's to, not gonna do to, that. To the run of the park. Yeah, I, I feel like if there's anything that Logan Paul would have the advantage of is I think his youth. Because he's younger. His yeah, youth and his stamina. Mm-hmm. Youth his stamina, reach. but other than that, Tyson ain't worried about no reach. You know how to get in. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah, that. Once he get in there, and then and you forget about it. But like, um, I, I would say stamina. But other than that, like, um, I, I get advantage to, to Tyson, bro. I mean, I'd have to experience. Well, it's uh, just like Matt said. If it Tyson loses, it will set up. And then he says, "Money talks." You know, yeah, money oh, talks. Yeah, you guys always have money fights. Um, oh, I know. Sure. I know. Um, Mike Perry's talking about fighting one of the Paul brothers. Um, mm. Oh yeah. I think Perry would destroy either one of them. Um, mm. Of course, because it's. They, see, but, I always looked at it as they they were never. But really I don't. I don't see either. them coming out. Um, coming out. Beating Tyson at all. No, I don't. I agree. Man, I definitely, I will definitely. And Tyson just fought, he recently, so yeah. he he's 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 already got his feet back wet. He's not just coming back from a huge retirement. I think yeah. he fought like last year or the year before that. Mm-hmm. So he's he's already been back in the ring. He's got he's a little, of that. Mm-hmm. and he's been training. Yeah, he had been training, so it's not like he's just going in there out of the blue. Oh fuck, I'm gonna go fight Paul <laughs> and make some money. No, mm-hmm. he he actually went and fought, and um, he did pretty. He did. He looked good. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, for real. Like, like, remember that guy that messed with him on the plane? Did you ever see that footage? Threw a water bottle at him. You already know Mohawk. Yeah. Mohawk in the building. What up, Mohawk? Mohawk what up, bro? bro? What's up? God damn it. What's Mohawk. Good, bro? I know you in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely positive vibes this way, man. You know your boy E gonna be all right up in that thing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, Yep. I've been working with Mohawk too, so yeah. we ready. We're... Oh yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> I'm ready too. I want to watch it. I want to watch it tomorrow. Nah, <laughs> yeah, there's actually fights tomorrow. Um, there's fights tomorrow because yeah. yeah. yep. yep. fight. oh, I, I seen I get a, I got a notification about the BKSA um, weigh-ins for for tomorrow's fight. So. Mm. Okay. So they try to do some every every Friday. It, we, um, BKFC it's usually on Fridays, yeah. um, except for when they have a huge event like mm-hmm. um they had oh, in gosh. Utah and it was on a Saturday night. Okay. Oh yeah. When they have a huge pay per view event, they'll they'll save it for Saturday and mm-hmm. try to get Make sure everybody watching. Yeah. Yep. Right. Jeez. Exactly. But That's for the most up. part, um, BKFC we we fight on Fridays. Okay. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, wait. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely watching I'm definitely that. watching that fight for sure. Yep, and then I'll get I'll send you guys the the new my guy oh, yeah. my guy Nate is making uh some posters for Sweet. the the new watch party for for El Rancho and for seventy six. So okay. mm. I'll Thank have you. those out soon. We at the watch party then? Oh. Uh, oh, it's a Friday night, right? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I'll be there. Oh yeah, we we can can like, like, oh, yeah. like say yeah. the main event. So 
Yeah, you gotta work at six. Yep. Get up in that thing. Get Talk that to El Travieso fan of the Rancho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll slurry and shit. I'm still wearing my t shirt, bro. What I gotta do, man? Gotcha. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna be getting some shirts. Um, Put in your order, bro, so I could get your sizes okay. and everything. Make sure I don't you know, mess yeah, out. Do I get busy during fight week. I'm cutting weight. I, I got a lot of shit going on. So it's it's sometimes it's it's a lot. I know, me. man. I got you. I already I need a, I need to get an assistant for the fight week. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Mohawk! I'm gonna need one of yours too, man. There you Mohawk, go, Mohawk. Too, Mohawk, I need a shirt, man. If you got some. I think Mohawk's fighting um Europe. I, I believe he's gonna go out and fight um. Really? Oh, oh, a British guy. <clears throat> so. At least he'll straighten out his teeth. Oh, my <laughs> God. We are. All right, yeah, yeah, you was hype. Heck yeah, we'll wear those. Yeah, um, we get them before it's the 12th, hopefully. Yeah. If I don't get them out to you before I leave, but I'll be back, I'll, get, I'll have them by then. Right, I'll cool. drop them off for you guys. Sweet. Or if you can send me the logo, I can get them made myself, or is that stuff on some toes? Yeah, Angie Rodriguez said you had Ron last fight. Oh, yeah. Angie's one of my good friends from the area. What's up, uh, Angie? That's what's up. Yeah, it was hype. Yeah, it was. It was I mean, for real. It was, was George watching. As soon as, the, as soon as they announced that you won, that it was, the fight was done, man, that, it went fucked. It, it went got done. loud. It got loud when it was introducing you. Well, and that too, but I mean, like. No, over here, got, over there, we're like, who's this? <laughs> All right. Who's that? <laughs> <Who's there? laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want Mike Jones. <laughs> And then you won. <laughs> you shut right. him up. And then, and then, I, and then I'm like, oops. Exactly. That's right. what I was just saying. You shut him up for sure. Yeah, even even Rube, Rube was like, shit. He came out to have Mike Jones. All, and had everybody all hyped up. I was over here worried, bro. I'm like, yeah, I was just calm. Yeah. yeah I was calm and relaxed until I, re I knew he was going to come out firing. Um, Like I said, debuter i got tired i'm like shit dude, why do i feel tired after two rounds right and uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's a different ball game and um then i started i i seen where you i i was able to clinch him and and get that body work and those uppercuts i'm like all right this is how i need to beat this guy i have to be inside and, and go do the clinch that dirty boxing shit and i was able to touch him up in the second and and the bell saved him in the second and then the third, I was able to finish them. So. Yeah, because yeah, I was watching that actually. That I was playing some buzz by here too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I know you were sitting over there by the at the bar. I was sitting right at the damn tower. Yeah, yeah, the tower. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, right, right. It's actually me and JJ. Yeah. JJ, what happened? That, that right? would, oh, that's who man. would have a tower out there. Yeah, you're right. He's always more recent, bro. You just want to get a tower over? Oh. What? He said margarita. I don't remember what it was. It looked like coconut or something. No, hell, That's what I was thinking of. It was margaritas. It was Oh yeah, that was. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It no, man, I ain't sleeping, bro. It's just loud enough there by talking. <laughs> Lickery. Lickery, that's funny. But yeah, man. Veronica, 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 Veronica. What's up, love? What's up, my first love? This will be. Uh, you want to do your um yeah, some shout -outs you want to do, brother? yeah i want to throw a shout out to all my sponsors um picked up my my guys the solis brothers at goody bag here in holland um iron lab fitness always out there looking out for me um they're like family career joy okay. um albert with a and i construction my guy junior with lake michigan construction ace of potter he owns a tree business Shout out to my my boy Joe Shaluga, chiropractor, always hooking me up from from the smallest thing, from my dealing with my sciatic nerve to dealing with my elbow out of place. My guy's always there. If he, the shop's closed, I I I'll hit him up. He's like, come over to my house. Joe Joe Joe's my boy. He he takes care of me. Um, 
Carlos, my manager, thanks for getting me on, on this fight, bro. Um, oh, yeah. Still looking forward to moving just another step towards getting to the ship. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to uh, all my coaches, Coach AC, Jose Dumarcel, my boxing coach here, um, Eli at, at Eli Boxing Club, um, Coach Ruben Silva's, all the guys here, all the, all the boxing gyms always looking out for me. Um, um, Johnny Grigwire over there with um, Jamal Hill, always trying to get me out there to work with Jamal. And so, like I said, we, we've been helping each other out. My guy Mohawk's there. My guy Robert Gidron's always willing to come and put in some work. Um, er everybody's here. We're all here in Michigan. We're all helping each other out. And same thing over there in Texas. Um, like I said, I went down there and um, coaches Fred Castro. Um, I had I I knew him. I just hadn't worked with him. And mm -hmm. my girl actually trains at with um, Fred Castro's team. And uh, he invited me over. Um, got some work with them. A good squad out there. My guy Jeff Fong from Edinburgh with um, Real Grand Valley Fight Alliance um, and Chris Ponce out of Bad Boys Boxing there in um, McAllen. Um, like I said, me and Chris vibed and he's going to be in my corner and be working with him this week when I go down there. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, all my friends and family that are all, always out there supporting me and uh, all my fans here and in the Valley. Thanks. I appreciate all the, the support. I, so I'm looking yes, forward sir. to going out there and, and throwing down for you guys. Let's do that. Good, Let's do that again. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you always, man, you know, you're our hometown guy, man. Yeah. Although you're from the valley, you know what I'm saying? Nine five six. Nine five six. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, do, that do, that do that again. Nine five, nine five six, me home. Yeah, right there. There you go. Yep. Nine five six. Represent, <laughs> Real Grand Valley boy. You know, we, uh, yep. Where's your six one six? Six one six. Yeah. Don't die, guy, man. You know we got your back, man. We got bad support here in the community, bro. Um, mm -hmm. It's just good to see, man. Uh, you mean you're putting us on the map, man. You're putting the murder oh, sure. mitt on the map, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially Holly, you know what I'm saying? Just we we are we was talking about this other day. Like, man, it's 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 mad talent here, bro. We got oh, yeah. people that just got signed with uh um uh um rap artists, you know what I'm saying? We got basketball stars, we got NFL people, we got yeah. like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, you should be turned up, man. And so like mm -hmm. having that platform to be able to I mean Earning that opportunity to yeah, be on sure, a platform sure. like this, you know what I'm saying? Well, they, they, you ain't, they, they ain't give you shit. You took it, right? right. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. it comes with, 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 with hard work, man, and a lot of sweat. Like I said, when I first we we walked in, I was like, man, you're skinny, bro. You lost a lot of weight because <laughs> <laughs> you, hey. you was heavyweight or I'm I was, I fighting the same weight. I just uh, I'm not cutting as much weight, bro. I I I've, I've cut weight dumb like. Like I shouldn't. I, like I said, I'm I, I'm taking the proper steps for this fight, and yeah. it's gonna be a different Lozano in there. You're gonna see a beast go out there and ready to bang. It's you're gonna yeah. see, see a different body frame too. I'll cut weight and gain it all what? back the next day. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go in there a little chubby and shit. So eat. then they got Whataburger down. And, Whataburger. They, they don't have Whataburger in um in Florida, but they do in Texas, and I'll be in oh, Texas yep. next that's week. True. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, got, you ain't nah, gonna get it up. You ain't nah, gonna go. From what I, from what I'm told is, I'm not gonna be eating none of that bullshit according to my girl. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Keep, gotcha, yep. lady. Keep them on. Keep them in check, my lady. That's how you do it. Yep. Hold them accountable, man. <laughs> a little goes a long way. <laughs> But you can do that after the fight. <laughs> no, she just she said yeah, I'm not gonna eat and no bullshit. Like you don't want me. Yeah. She's she's kept me on point for this camp and like I said, I haven't been drinking. I've been more focused and and this is one of the few times that that I've taken it serious. I, like I just like to fight. Like I've yeah. I've gotten fought the best without like I'll train but I won't take it so serious so I'm like I'm still gonna drink on the weekends fuck it <laughs> but I've been taking this I mean I got I got a lot to gain in this fight and I'm gonna I, I promised my sons that and my kids that I was gonna give myself the best opportunity to to win this fight and that's what I've been doing like I've been um I have my friend Julio Moreno hit, hit, hit me up to the day he's like hey 
are we still friends or what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. You're my boy, but I just, I, I'm just, I'm on a different focus right now. And right. I can tell, man, you know what I'm Your mentality so, is definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you always been an even kill, pretty chill dude for the most part. But like, just listening to you, man, you got that, that vet savvy. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? When you've been around, like me playing semi pro balls, playing football from when I first started. You know, say you know, to high school, and then after three, four, five years in semi pro ball, I've seen the difference in my approach. I used to come up against jacked up, let's go, baby, cool. You know what I'm saying? But then once I got a few years in the league, it was just kind of like, you know, I'm, 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 I know I'm gonna light it up. I need to talk. All right, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to the forefront. Okay, all, right. all right, this is this yeah. how we're going to counter that. Yeah, for, right, right, right. Yep, yep, yep. You, you, know you, you get that knowledge, bro. It's That knowledge is key. Yep. And like I said in my last fight, like Mike Jones came out explosive and stuff. And I'm like, all right, I, 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 felt, I felt his power. Um, he felt that he hit me with his best shots and, and then dropped me. So that kind of like broke him down mentally. And, mm. and he got tired in that second round. I seen it. I'm like, all right. Mm. That's what we said. It, 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 it's game yeah. time now, right? Just yeah. what I was waiting for. And I could pick him apart. Because yeah, exactly. like I said, I had a, a ugly weight cut for that for that fight. And uh, I missed weight by a pound. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, it take, that, that weight cut takes a lot out of you. And I'm mm-hmm. taking the proper steps to, to get it down the correct way. Okay. And um, you're going to see a different Lozano in there. So... Mm-hmm. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited, yeah, man. A huevo perro. Man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to get up in that thing. Last time I got a couple phone numbers, and I was up in that thing. You know what I'm yeah, and you your first. Your fight's hot. What's his name? Oh, oh, that was a good oh look. that's all cold. Oh, well, okay. I did the oh, I, I, I did the wrong one. I did the wrong. One. Yeah. <laughs> I did the wrong one. Shots fired. What are you talking about? Oh, did you say shots fired? Where is it at? Oh, <laughs> compliments of uh, Marcos. Yeah, thank you for that, man. But yeah, bro. Um, your lady said, "Love you, baby." We going to the ship. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, I'll see you this weekend. That's right. Let's give a shout out one more time to our sponsors. Uh, we got our newest sponsor, uh, Zamudio Ramos Cleaning. You're gonna. I'm gonna say it as white as possible. I don't care. Don't do that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then Marcos is gonna make fun of me. Marcos. Zamudio Ramos. Or Ramos. Professional cleaners. Okay, you take do. Take care of all your cleaning needs. Get in touch with Zamudio oh. Ramos. She gets the job done. Quill happened. I guess I scheduled another podcast with somebody else. No, no. Also, oh, and um, I mean, he, I didn't get a. He didn't hit me up to remind me of anything. So good. He's no, all right. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. We're gonna <laughs> reschedule <laughs> for a Tuesday yeah, at night. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Yeah. Another shout. Out to Sorry Pure about West. that, Stephen. Pure West Compassion Club, man. Once again, man. Thank you guys. Thanks for the support. Appreciate the collaboration, the partnership. Look forward to doing more things and uh, more events. Me and Chris did talk about doing some yeah. events. And oh, yeah. yeah we, oh, yeah. They don't stop. We just get started. Uh, they started. actually do have a, an event coming up, uh, which is right here. Oh, it's karaoke yeah. on Thursdays. Yep. Uh, April, April 13th. Oh, oh, yeah. The day after the fight. Yep. The fight convention. Wait, day after? Oh, yeah. yeah April 12th. Day after the fight. That was late night. Yep. And uh, you got anybody that wants to go, it is at uh pure west uh location and it's free for club members but it's ten dollars in advance 15 at the door okay so yeah check that out and they uh yeah just have fun enjoy it all right so chris we angie rodriguez happy- said, oh, well. none of us here for moments when he trains seriously I gotta call him to make sure he's alive too <laughs> <laughs> i'm telling you like my yeah. friends be blowing me up like, hey bro what's up <laughs> I'm like I, I try to avoid any um bad influences because I'm a sucker for a good time, man. Oh, I like to have a good yes, time sir. and shit. And Damn, hey, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get that shot here, man. You right okay. over, yeah. 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 You My son's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it in real quick. He can get real quick for you. He's already That's here. Geo Barbara. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just just that, that, part, uh, that part wasn't on camera, so you're good. Uh, uh, no. That's why I did it. Yeah. There's a call in. Right? already done? You yeah. call that number right there. Done. It's like, you can call in mm-hmm. right now and get uh-huh. what this takes. The show? Yeah. In like two minutes. Mm, okay. Or actually, a minute now. But, uh, yeah, well, so we'll just call it a night. Uh, Chris. Well, before, is there anything you want to tell your opponent right now? Oh, um, there you go. Yeah, do so that. So you tell your opponent, like, shit, I just want, I, I'm looking forward to a fucking war, bro. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. I have mad respect for you. I know you've been the, the face of BKFC, but yeah, I'm coming you. to retire you, brother. Mm-hmm. I'm coming to retire you for good. Dude. Let's get it. Let's do this real quick. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that's uh, he's yes, ready. Sir. He's ready. He ready. We ready. We're all, everybody's Colin's ready. It's gonna be an electric night. I'm, I'm Colin in Texas. I mean, uh, Michigan and Texas is ready for this win. Main event, though. Let's go. Exactly. Yes, that's Main event. That's huge, bro. Main event, yes, sir. Event. One of the biggest promotions in the world. I'm, I'm excited, bro. And whoever doesn't watch. Uh, Eric's gonna come whoop your ass. All uh, right, after his hand seal. Yeah, then my my hitman Malik. Yeah, that's right. That's so, right. He already cashed at me, so. Yeah. <laughs> he already cashed cash at you, Payne. Yeah, right. No. Thirty-three six. <laughs> what do you get for thirty-three six? Right, he's just a twenties. And get the name. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Yeah. Hector Perez, Puro 956. Puro 956. Puro 956. We're all from Michigan. Well, he's from Texas. I've been here half my life, though. Represent the men too, baby. Yeah, that's true. I'm all I'm I'm gonna learn the Spanish thing out there. I was old enough, man. I was too wait. I didn't see it. I thought it was you. That's a glass of glass. That's too dope car now. See that's what I'm gonna do. Kern hour. That's it. Carlos had a soul going in my DJ career tonight. Hero Kern hour. Car now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Total. Yeah. Oh, so, if anybody wants to give them Christmas presents, uh, Rosetta Stone. Is yeah, I can use that. I do need one of those. I got it already. That's actually, this phone actually, I can call people and it translates to them in Spanish. Yes, I'm, I'm going to use it one of these. Yeah, I know. Yours. That's not fair. <laughs> No, this is a Samsung, so it's Korean. No, well, good night, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, good night, thanks, Eric. Good night. Thanks, thanks for your tonight. time. I appreciate it, guys. Yes, thank you. Um, by, bro. Thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, like, oh, it's been an honor, bro. It's been a real honor. I know you've been busy, man, but yeah, you found time, man. We made it happen. Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Next step, man. Make, make us proud, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to tell me about it, man. You make us proud, you know? <laughs> I will. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Go in there and get my hand raised, guys. So. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Eric, we we uh, wish you the best. Get that win. And then your next one will be the championship. Now, do you get a ring? Do they get rings? No, I mean, you know. No, 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 I know that, but I was like, I mean, what do you mean? Like, yeah, you obviously, get you get a belt, but do you get anything else? I don't think you get a ring. I, I haven't been, a, I haven't been a, a champion in a huge organization like this, so... I'm not sure. It's definitely well, gonna be the belt, a check, well, and the check will be enough. I'm just firing. curious because I didn't know either. There you go. Yeah, you, well, you know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, if you can get on Timo <laughs> and get him a ring. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, Timo ring. But yeah, man. Oh, Please. Angela, I got the uh, S24 Ultra. Yeah, talk about phones. Well, because I mentioned phones. Oh. But anyways. Wait, be safe out there, brothers. Yep. Safe travels. Safe travels, for sure. For sure. We praying for you, man, and knock his ass out. Luck is for losers. That's my football coach. Just knock his ass out. Luck is for guys that don't train their ass off. In this case, I'm training, but I have needed luck before. Yeah. Our blessings to you, bro. But, like, they... I have some friends and family tell me good luck. Now nah, I'm training. You know, hard work will pay off, and oh, yeah, sure. I don't need luck on this one. Yeah. But I have needed it before. I'm not gonna bullshit. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying you came ahead handy before, but yep. Did you say Mijo again? No, I said before. Turn it off. All right. Well, we're. Yeah. Uh,
and your hearing aid. Hold on, I gotta get my phone. All right, everybody, have a good night. Thank you, Eric, for being on. Thanks for having me, guys. You have a good night, everybody, and uh, we'll see you all uh, hopefully at the studio. Let's go, boys, bye. All right, everybody, have a good night. We'll see you soon.